Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about extension methods in C Sharp. Extension methods enable us to add a new method to an existing type without creating a new derived types. So we do not have to inherit from an existing type and create this method. We can just attach the method to an existing type. When we get into the implementation, it will be more clear what I mean by that. Extension methods are essentially static methods, but when we call it, instead of calling like static method where we use the class name dot method name, it is called in an instance of a type as if it was a method of the type. And we use extension method almost regularly through link. All the link methods are nothing but extension methods. So let's get into an example on some of the existing extension method. And then we are going to create a couple of extension method and show how it works. Demonstrating extension method, let's first create a array. So we can create an array of integer. And now let's say we want to find out the even number from this list. So we can say even numbers is equal to items. And here we can use link. And once we use link, we are essentially using extension method. And for extension method, you will see that when the intelligent shows up, it will show this extension in a bracket and in the icon for extension method there will be a downward dotted arrow against the method name which tells it's an extension method so here we can do where and we have to add the link namespace and now again start the where just to show that it shows extension icon and extension method so you can say where and we can write an anonymous function here. So we can do that. And then we can say even numbers. And we can say so we can say string dot join and for the join separator we are going to keep comma and for the array we can give even numbers and now and now if we run this we're going to see all the even numbers being printed out in the console output as you can see two four six eight so you got all the even number this is an example of extension method the other example of extension method can be if we want to get only items which are greater than five. So similarly, we can use here greater than five. Or if we want to create a separate collection out of it, so we can say select, which is another extension method. And select, we can say this goes to, we can just convert this whole thing into a string. And we can say, item number and item and here we can still keep the same things and if we run it's going to print out just item number one two three and so on and so forth as simple as that so this is a couple of example of an extension method now let's say we want to create an extension method of our own and let's say we want to create an extension method which is going to do something different. For example, it is going to convert a string. So here, let's say instead of this as integer, these are strings. And now what we want to do is we want to create an extension method on an ionumerable of string. So what we can do is we can create the extension method here or we can create in a new class. So usually what I do personally is I create a new class and I name it 
appropriately. For example, here we are creating an extension method on i enumerable of string. So I can name it as string array extension. And inside of this class, this is going to be a public static class. And as I mentioned during the definition before that extension methods are nothing but static methods. So what we can do is we can create public static and the return for the extension method here, let's say we want to return an i enumerable of t. i enumerable of t and then the name of the function and let's say this function what we are trying to do with this function let's say we are going to convert the string into an int and do some operation let's name it as filter for the time being and t and here we can say this is what we start with as the keyword and this is which the array or the item or the type on which we are going to write the extension method so if we say this uh, i enumerable of string items then the extension method is going to be on the string items and let's change the implementation let's just return instead of creating it as a t let's just say it returns an int array for simplicity this is an extension method so it is a public static it returns the return type here for us is int the name of the function and then the type on which we want to implement the extension method and this is the indicator of on which type we are going to do it for us it's i enumerable of string and here we can do items dot select let's add the link namespace item equals to convert uh, to int so we are making a from item array of string we are making an item array of int and then done we are going to do where tem let's do item greater than 5 let's say that's our requirement and this is what we are going to return let's make it as an i enumerable of int instead of int array so that we don't get the red squiggly so this is our extension method so now we created an extension method on i enumerable of string which is doing nothing it's just filtering out anything which is less than or equal to 5 it is returning everything which is greater than 5 and now if we call instead of doing all this thing if we call we can actually do this you can do dot and if we do filter you can see that now filter is showing up as an extension method here and it is showing extension inside of back bracket here also and as you can see filter returns an i enumerable of int and it does not take any parameter so we can just call filter here and keep everything as is and now instead of printing all number it will just return six seven eight nine with the item so if we run this now we're going to see item number six seven eight and nine this is how easy it is to write an extension method and then also for the extension method as you can see it is called on an object we are calling on an string array object instead of calling it like a static function so this is how extension method is and as you know extension method is one of the most popular method used across in link everywhere and there are certain times it would make sense for you to write extension method so this is one extension method and now let's say we want to do some logic here so instead of defining what the logic should be we want to take a parameter which will do the filtration so here we can take a func so func will always take an output and input so for input we are going to take int because we intend to convert the string into int and for output we are going to use bool because we are going to return boolean for this one and i can name it just func and here what we can do instead of this 
we can just call i so it will return whether it is true or false and let the caller decide what to do so now if we come here filter is now throwing an error because it expects a func uh, int and bool and here we can say again x greater than 5 it will provide the exact same response as before but now we just got the logic of what to do as a parameter instead of doing inside of here and here we are doing the exact logic of whether it should be greater than 5 or uh, something else so now if we run this application you can see we're getting the exact same result so this is how you can use extension method and it is extremely handy especially if you want to do something with an ionumerable you want to add a new method into ionumerable which does not exist in the current set of link method this is a very good way of doing it apart from that if you want to add some extension to something like string let's say you want to create a function to do something like is string an email or if it has a particular format you can write an extension method on string and then do the incoming string dot the extension method to find out for validation and stuff like that so that's another thing you can do but most of the common use cases for extension method is on ionumerable and that's the example i created here so that's all i wanted to cover for this short video on extension method if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video